Good morning, Fellowship Kids. It's me, Mr. Levi. I'm so excited to see you guys on this wonderful Sunday. We're going to do some worship together this morning. We're going to do two songs. The first song we're going to do is called Romans 1619. It's been a minute since we've done this song, but this is one of my favorites. It's got some really fun hand motions, and we're literally singing scripture, which is always the best. So let's get, go over those hand motions one more time. I know you guys are hand motion experts, but we're going to just do a quick review. Be excellent. Big old thumbs up. Big old thumbs up. Be excellent at what is good. Be innocent. It's a little innocent face. A little ah, innocent face. Be innocent of evil. Little evil horns. Be excellent at what is good. Be innocent of evil. For the God. We're gonna. Oh, you can't really see it. For the God. We're gonna point up. For the God of peace. A little peace sign. Peace will soon, you can tap your watch. If you don't have a watch, you can just pretend to have a watch. The God of peace will soon crush Satan. We're gonna crush him, crush him all, get them all squished up. God of peace will soon crush Satan because God will crush him underneath your feet. And whenever we say underneath our feet, we're gonna jump up there and go, woo! I can't really jump too much because I gotta I gotta play the music, but you guys, can, I'll try to do the best I can. God of peace will soon crush Satan, cause God will crush him underneath our feet. Woo! You guys think you can do that? I know y'all can. Y'all are amazing. So we're gonna sing this out together. It's gonna be awesome. Here we go. Romans 16. Says Romans 16 19 says, Be excellent at what is good, be innocent of evil, or be excellent at what is good, be innocent of evil. For the God of peace will soon crush Satan, because God will crush him underneath your feet. Woo, God. Soon crush Satan, cause God will crush him underneath your feet. Woo! Messed up the hand motions there a little bit. We're gonna keep going. Romans 16, 19 says. Romans 16, 19 says, be excellent at what is good, be innocent of evil. At what is good, be innocent of evil. For the God of peace will soon crush Satan, cause God will crush him underneath your feet. Woo! God of peace will soon crush Satan, cause God will crush him underneath your feet. Here we go! Good job, guys. That's so much fun. Mr. Levi messed up a couple times, but I still love singing that song because the words in that song are so great because they are literally scripture. Be excellent in what is good. Be innocent of evil. For the God of peace will soon crush Satan underneath your feet. Guys, this is what's so cool. This is what's so amazing. 
Jesus not only loves us and came and died for us and rose again from the grave so that we can have a relationship with him, but he's going to come back. He's going to come back and all the evil, all the darkness, all the death, everything in this whole world that's terrible and evil is going to be gone forever someday. It's going to be gone and we're all going to be hanging out together as believers in Jesus, worshiping and celebrating for all of eternity. Isn't that cool? That's so cool. We worship a good and gracious God. That is awesome, you guys. Okay, the next song we're going to do <clears throat> is called His Mercy is More. We, it's been a minute since we've done this song too, but this song does not have hand motions, just uh, some great lyrics to it. So we're going to sing together, mm. sip a coffee, and then we're going to worship. So here we go. you guys to hear what's being sung because this is very important listen one riches of kindness he lavished on us his blood was the payment his life was the Good singing. 
Oh my goodness, there's so much wonderful truth in that song. What riches of kindness. I'm just going to read that, that one that we repeated a couple times. What riches of kindness he lavished on us. His blood was the payment. His life was the cost. He stood neath the death, the debt we could never afford. Our sins, they are many. His mercy is more. Guys, we are so loved. We are so loved and so adored by our Creator, by, by God. We are so loved. Guys, he, he is so gracious and kind to us. There are so many things He does for us each and every day, but especially He loved us so much that He died for us. We, we've talked about this, we are sinful we are broken. We are messed up people. We, the Bible tells us, because we sin, we deserve to die. But Jesus took our place. Jesus died instead of us so that we could have a relationship with the creator of the universe. Isn't that cool, you guys? We stood our debt. We stood beneath the debt we could never afford. Our sins are many. We have so many sins all piled up on top of us, all the sin that we have in our lives, our sins, they are many, but his mercy, his, his, his second chance that he gives us, even though we don't deserve it, is so amazing and so big and so much that it covers all of our sins. His blood, his sacrifice covers our sins. Isn't that amazing? That is good news, you guys. Oh, man. I'm so grateful for that. Okay, you guys, open up your listening ears. Turn on your listening ears. Boop. We're going to have a big open wide, and we're going to listen to our Bible story this morning. When Paul was a prisoner in Rome, he met a man named Onesimus. Onesimus was a servant. He had run away from his master, Philemon. Philemon was Paul's friend. Paul told Onesimus the good news about Jesus, and Onesimus believed in Jesus. Onesimus helped Paul, and Paul wanted Onesimus to stay with him. So Paul wrote a letter and told Onesimus to take the letter back to Philemon. Paul wrote, Dear Philemon, I am writing to you because I love you. I want you to do the right thing. I am getting old and I am in prison because I tell people about Jesus. I met Onesimus and told him about Jesus, and he believed. I want him to stay with me, but I want your permission first. Onesimus is a believer now. Maybe this is why he left for a little while, so that he could come back to you as a brother instead of a servant. He is our friend and brother in Christ. Please welcome him like you would welcome me. If he owes you anything, I will pay it. Philemon, I would be so happy if you agree to this. I know you will do what is right. Paul asked Philemon to get a room ready for him. Paul hoped to visit Philemon soon. Paul offered to pay Onesimus' debt to make peace between him and Philemon. In this way, Paul acted like Jesus who makes peace between God and man. Jesus took the punishment we deserve for our sin. He paid our debt so that we can be forgiven and welcomed by God. Wow, you guys, what a great story. Just like Paul paid Onesimus' debt, Jesus paid our debt. We just sang about that just a little bit ago. We stood beneath a debt we could never afford. Our sins, they are many. His mercy is more. Jesus took care of our debt, our debt and our sin. We couldn't, it was so big. Our debt was so much that we couldn't pay it ourselves. But Jesus paid it for us so that we could have a relationship with God. That is good news. That is such good news. And if you believe in your heart that Jesus is king and that he died and rose again for your sins, he paid your debt too. That's good news, you guys. Y'all, I'm so proud of you. I'm so thankful that you believe in Jesus. And I'm so glad that you take time to worship him throughout your lives. Guys, I love you guys so much. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Love you guys.